All right, so welcome to the second set of Christie Cup games. Uh, I'm now joined by Anton instead of Panda, and I'm, well, in the pre-recording chat, I'm already starting to regret things. Why, Wouter? I'm just really enthusiastic. Well, that's one word for it. Anyway, we are here to watch Hobanius versus Rob Rockhart. Uh, so let's have a quick overview of the civilizations. Uh, so Fabanius goes Bulgarians, Malay, Lithuanians, Franks, Vikings, Britons. Uh, Rob Rockhart goes sniped. Aztecs. Uh, uh, yeah, and the Berbers were sniped. Rockhart goes Aztecs, Magyars, Huns, Mayans, Goths, Mongols, with Chinese being sniped. Uh, what are your impressions, Anton? The main impression that I got was that there are quite... Well, we'll see the maps. Uh, we'll go through over the maps. But uh, there, Rob chose not to pick a single sieve that was really water-oriented. Well, I think there mm -hmm. will be at least two, three maps uh, that could be on water. But generally, I think both have decent options. Indeed, both have decent options, and if you see, uh, Fobenius chose uh, Water Nomad and Pilgrims as his home maps, and Rob went for Socotra and Marketplace. So, we neither might, of uh, them no. going for Empire Wars maps. No, I'm pretty sure uh, for uh, Mats uh, Fobenius it was a, 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 a choice. A conscious decision, a indeed. A conscious decision, indeed. Uh, I'm wondering if for the first map uh, we'll might, we might see Mayans again for Rob, because it's not a Sif I would personally consider, but it worked quite well for Jonasti earlier. It did indeed work quite well. Uh, I think the cheaper archers make it a lot easier to get out the numbers uh, a lot quicker, uh, which I think might be key in this. But enough chit-chatting, yeah. let's I'll... jump into the game. So the first game, Northern Isles, and it is not Mayans, it is Vikings versus Magyars. Let me put Fobenius on the left side to coincide. Okay, so ready. Anton, I will wait until you are ready. I'm in the game, uh, two seconds, so start and I will start as well. Okay, so three, two, one, and we're off. And so yeah, as we saw in the previous game, uh, a quick landing can be very devastating, but we see immediately Fobenius queuing up two galleys in the, in the back dock. Two villagers being queued as well, so that's a quite normal Empire yep. Wars start, uh, and on the Transports. other side, yep. transport <laughs> ship by Rob Rockhart, transporting a single villager and a scout. Uh, so we yep. will have a quick landing and then he will try to do some damage. This afterward. already gives an indication that he did, because the reaction was quite fast to put a scout and villager in the... So he did prepare, I think, the map somewhat. Indeed, uh, indeed. I think both transport players... ship remains idle. His transport ship does remain idle indeed. I have the impression that he will focus on water and try to gain an advantage there before moving on towards land. Um, unfortunately for Rob, he is immediately spotted. So if Fabenus is paying attention, he can deny the stable. Oh, I... Did he he see does it? spot I'm it. Sure. He, did, he did see it. He did see it. I'm oh, yeah. on his fog sure. of war. He saw it, he, he... I think that was a big mistake. Oh, but uh, now... And now uh, the transport ship, yeah. Yeah. So he built a stable at home, and he's going to transport uh, his army across, instead of landing and then producing army there. Uh, meanwhile, the stables is finished uh, for Rob, uh, and he started producing. That is indeed a, a lot of villagers on snipe. foot compared to Mats, but also, well, if he's not going uh, ships, 
and it's more logical. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Now th this is a very, uh, yeah, somewhat equal trade, I could say. Uh, the main advantage is Rob as Magyars has an immediate advantage uh, since he already has forging, which Mats as Vikings lacks. Uh, Mats does decide to put his uh, scouts in a transfer ship instead of planning to defend with them, I believe. I so have the impression as well, yes. Relying um, on a spearman that I don't... How much did he... Three, three on the field so far? Three on the field, and since he did fletching, I think he's considering a defensive tower. I think all of his... Oh, he took some good hits. Took some uh, good hits there as well, indeed. But oh. there's no spearman yet at uh, oh. near the, all of his wood lines, but... Robinus does a T90 move. He uh, landed his scouts on the middle uh. island. <laughs> At least he's not making three archery ranges there. Uh, but yeah, I yeah. think... So, uh, he he's... lost the villager at home, but I think... Yeah, he's doing the... He's killing, well, a lot of damage yeah. on the scouts now. A lot of damage on the scouts. I think that's perfectly reasonable. He is behind in eco, though. Uh, He's behind in oh, villager counts. Lots. Yeah, it's uh, mainly the fishing ships, but... And the fishing ships. A, well, a decent start I mean, he's... By Rob. I'm not convinced by the tower near the stable, but otherwise he's taken quite a good start, I believe. Yeah, I think that villager can do a lot better than just sitting in there. Like, make some houses, make some extra stables. As it is and now, it is indeed just kind of useless. Not should start sending his galleys over because now he's well keeping one galley there near the tower but he mm -hmm. has some and all the fish is unprotected from Rob which will give him quite a boost in the if Matt doesn't uh, react to it yeah yeah indeed he should indeed be raiding his fish eco uh, but yeah, now right. he has to deal with quite a few I mean he is dealing with it yeah this is a really good trait yeah yeah, that's an, indeed a really good trait for Frobenius. Rob Rockhart might not be that enthusiastic about it, but he is halfway through to Castle Age. Indeed. Uh, but uh, Frobenius is really not close to it. Not at all, only 200 food. Uh, now he realizes he, have he a needs market? to put more uh, farms uh, on the field. Yeah. But, uh, I think he could also benefit from a market, just to use the extra gold he has to buy food and click his way up to castle. Um, yes, it's quite crucial, I believe, in Empire Wars to build a market earlier than in random map. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, uh, Robinus did indeed finally land with his scouts on Rob's island, and he managed to pick up two eco three eco kills now. But that's also part, partly the galley that he has, that is casually raiding the fishing eco. At least that's happening. I think that is indeed Rob's happening. Rob's concern Ooh. is now getting more on gold because he has the two stables. He's in Castellage on the Frobenius's mm -hmm. islands, but uh, this is when he needs to start producing more knights. So I don't. If he, does he have a market? Neither does uh, he. I think. I do, do not spot a market indeed. So that's. Not that great for balancing the eco. Uh, meanwhile, the scout raid has been uh, dealt with, uh, but he's still not reacting to uh, Frobenius raiding his fishing eco with the single galley. Uh, yeah, he did two he more did queue, the east. He does have side. a fire galley now, so he will take care of the one ship, but I'm still wondering where are yeah. the other galleys from. Uh... Uh, the galleys from uh, Fobenis, there is one... The, ah, this, doesn't it say that he has four? On the now he has four, because he ah, okay, just there. lost one. Okay. I didn't see those. Uh, he's, he's got one galley all the way on the left side of the map, and two more on the right side, and I can't seem to find the fourth one. Interesting. Yeah, well. 
Uh, but now way. more ducks being added in the middle by uh, Frobenius, and he's on the way to Castle Age. I'm expecting a switch away from galleys and into longboats. I'm a bit worried for him if he doesn't. Well, he has a, some spearmen, but he needs if there if there's knights coming into his bases. Uh, well, he needs to have more than well. Five, six mm -hmm. spearmen. Yeah, I agree, but as long as he's not being terribly harassed, I don't see the problem. Because at the moment, yeah, Rob doesn't have the eco to really produce much more yeah. knights. Uh, but yeah, once that gets to like six, seven knights, then what he has at home, the three spears or, or four spears. Oh no, he's. he's yeah. He's up to eight spears in total somewhere. Uh, so but still, they Max are immediately spearmen, goes so. for longboats. Longboats, fletching, botkin armor, armor upgrade. Yeah, I, I think I like his position, but he needs to find a way to deal with the stables on his island. Yeah. Uh, oh, he did right. transport uh, villagers across to the neutral island, immediately down sentry. And if Rob doesn't yeah. do that, that's a lot of resources. But in the meantime... Uh, the yeah, Spearman going down. Spearman going down. And he does not have an answer to these knights yet. And he needs at least a second barracks, I think. Because production will now be an issue. Production will indeed be an issue. He's trying to transport his wood villagers to the middle, so he's really plans to uh, put a lot of uh, mm -hmm. hills in the center. Uh, I mean, of course, if you take the stone there, which might be his plan, then you can just put one defensive castle at home, one in the middle, and knights won't be as much of, much of a problem. That is indeed true. Now, I, I like this tower for uh, Rob. I would have put it a little bit more forward. The problem is, Mons doesn't need that gold yeah, tile. Because he's in the center. And he's I don't, in the center. Because... Oh no, Rob is still fishing. But, uh... Rob had also made a dock in the middle, but that's being shot down by Mons's longboats. I, I would prefer that he also sends a couple just to the back and start raiding the fishing eco in the back. Mm. But in the meantime, he's got a massive amount of villagers in the middle, like 13 villagers just freely gathering. Yeah. And I just... think... Okay, yeah, now he's got a couple pikes at home. Uh, Rob was raiding under the TC. I think those knights are kind of... Yeah, but he still has a lot of idle knights near his stables. Yeah. So... I... I think that's a mistake by him. He should really throw them forward. I think forward. he should have gone for the barracks as well. When he killed yeah. the spearman at the beginning, yeah, you need to stop the production. But now, but like we, oh, like Mats is cast off, the... obviously, obviously. Mats is dropping a castle on uh, Rob's Oof. island. I mean, that will also keep him busy. I think that tower is gonna go up first, though. Oh, and yeah, the longboats... The longboats reach it? I don't the longboats think... can just reach it, I think. Oh, it might be the knights. He didn't. Well, no. He only sent five villagers, obviously, probably because his transport ship. Yeah. He can only handle five. But the no, tower goes up first, but I don't think the castle will be denied. Yeah, he, he just moves the villagers away. He to move his villagers to the back. I think is it not range? Well, does does a uh, rob have fletching? I think it's still ranging. Uh, I'm in cartridge, so I can't see the. The range indicator. Uh, it doesn't have fletching, I think. But it's uh, still. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah. just. Maybe one villager can build at the corner outside of, but yeah. the tower will but go down because of the. Tower will go down, castle is up. Okay, I'm lagging one, uh, one or two seconds behind, I see. Mm -hmm. uh... But in the meantime, while I was focused on that. Rob is casually raiding Mats's entire eco in his home island. 
there's... Yeah, I'm not ten, convinced. 12 uh, knights just the, running the around. The castle forward does damage, but I'm not convinced it wasn't a better option to build it mm -hmm. defensively. Yeah, I... I think I have to agree there. It seems like a little bit of an overextension. Oh, a lot of villagers near the stone uh, exposed, so... Yeah, we'll it's already... Going down. It's already 25 versus 16 eco kills. Uh, I mean, Rob has taken more damage, but he's quickly catching up to... Yeah, I up think... Frobenius. But uh, Frobenius' strategy right now is... Well... Castles and boats, I think. Secure some areas mm -hmm. with a castle because you have access to lots of stone and gold in the center. But, yes. Oh, and there's still but... so many knights uh, idle near the third stable. Indeed, uh, that's another rock. group of eight knights that could just be wrecking the base. I mean, I don't think he needs them, the. The 20 ah. knights. Is a lot given that Mats does is not a lot. have that much land army. And Mats is only one on wood, zero uh, on food, nine on like gold, the eight on stone. Uh, There's a second castle. Yeah, I, I don't like it either. Too close I, to the. It doesn't protect anything, it doesn't deny anything. It's. I don't like it. If it, if, it, if it had been a bit, but obviously I think he, he believes he needs the support of the, the longboats to be able to get it up, maybe? I mean, he's not wrong there, but I, oh, I don't yeah. see how he gets an advantage with this extra castle, unless he wants to go berserks, but he doesn't have the food eco for it. Unless he now starts heavily... Does he still have a market? He no longer uh, has market a market. was destroyed by the knights uh, earlier. Yeah. So I Yeah, still lots of exposed villagers on the mm. general. And he can't, this looked like he can't make anything. Very soon this... Matt will only have the center. Yeah, but he doesn't have anything. He can't do anything with just gold and a hundred food. Third castle going up. Third castle. <laughs> I mean placement wise I like this a lot more. But Yeah, it's it's a lot better, but it's also he needs to focus the castle on the villagers now, yeah. And the longboats, oh yeah. If this goes mm. up, it's... well, it's better. Let's see. Okay, now Mud suddenly has 7 on food. I wonder where. Ah, he's... Okay, fishing, he's making he's some fishing. He's fishing for people. idle for a long time. Okay, okay. It's but a it's, nice yeah. uh, chaotic game. It's what uh, I would have expected from uh, uh, Frovenius and uh, also the landing from uh, Harop. Mm -hmm. Has done a it huge is. because because Frobenius didn't really fully defend from it. It's done amazing amounts of damage. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's is there still a villager left on the original island for Mats? Um, I will quickly check. I don't think so. Nope. No, there is not a single villager left. He has 25 villagers, and he's, he's transporting got... villagers from the center. I guess to uh, Rob Sion. So there's been there's there's a trade of uh, villagers starting a trade of islands starting. I think there's been a town center uh, for Rob on Matsus Islands and uh, mm -hmm. indeed more villagers coming over. Yeah, but I I have the impression that Obedius taking in Rob's island is gonna go slower than. Because it has to depend uh, on uh, the castles and not uh, on uh, yeah. army, so he yeah. does have a... Uh... Yeah, he needs to build some town centers over there, I think, but yeah, the eco advantage from Rob is quite important at this Indeed. point. Indeed. But then it's... I, I think it might go to the point that Mats uh, Frobenius is just defending with castles, an entire island. Uh, Rob being housed at the moment, which is a little bit funny. Uh, but then it turns into a game of, well, who makes cannon galleons? And I'm currently looking it up, but I don't know if Magyars get cannon galleons. I will look in the tick tree. Magyars. 
Where are the boats? They do get cannon guardians. No, no elites, but uh, general mm -hmm. cannon guardians. Yes. Yeah, I think. While Fishing ships on the are other idle hand, again. Vikings do. Yes, they're idle because Mats has no docks left. Ah, okay. <laughs> Good point. And he doesn't have the wood at the moment to yeah. make a I new one. I think this game might, even though the score is still quite uh, heavily in front, uh, advantage uh, for uh, Frobenius, I. It looks yeah. very good for mm. Rob. I, I think Rob yeah, I has think a the major over, advantage. It's, I, I don't see how... What would need to happen for Frobenius to make a comeback now? Yeah. Mm. yeah he just doesn't have the, the eco. Huh? He doesn't have the eco. He, Can't, he, he only has gold and uh, stone, so I don't really see anything happening. and. Rob has a lot of villagers on both islands now still. It's mm -hmm. hard to push them. You can drop another castle on the town center, but I mean, Rob can move. There's a lot of space still on I, the... I think the correct choice for Rob would now be... He's, by the way, now dropping a defensive castle. He's got 2,000 wood. No, sorry, 2,000 gold. He's almost got 1,000 food. Yeah, now he's buying food indeed. That was what, what I was about yeah. to say. Just Go buy ahead. your way to Imperial, yeah. make a couple of traps and start trebbing down what he has, uh, like all those castles, and yeah, that that that's it for Bobinus. I did not expect the game to evolve like this. No, but it's. I think but the main fun. issue with going a bit well, Matt's built some ships but it never it's only now i think that most of the fishing ships of, of rob are uh, de destroyed mm -hmm. yeah I looked now a he's few minutes ago and they were still these. fishing so yeah and also the castles i don't i don't yeah i didn't like the strategy also the tree close to each other i think if he put a defensive castle he could have sort yeah. of saved some of his original bases Mm -hmm. Stayed in the middle, but... Agreed, I think that's indeed uh, one of the big problems that he had was... I, I love the offensive capabilities of those, of the first castle he built, but I think at that point there was just too many knights just completely running over his base. So maybe he yeah. should have focused a bit more... Also the new one, it doesn't really add a lot, it will just once uh, Rob goes, well... Ends up in Imp, starts building traps. More mm -hmm. of those castles will just be destroyed. Yeah. I don't see how he defends against this. He does. Rob has less eco than he did a few, but I think it's mainly the fishing ships that uh, are now gone. He used to have more than 60, I know, but. So he's not really making a lot of. Why well, he's still queuing villagers? He is still queuing villagers, but yeah, I think he's now focusing more on... I don't know what he's focusing on. I think he's getting a little bit... Okay, yeah, he's... I think yeah, we might uh... be the end of the game here. I no. think so too. Imperial H. Yeah, Although he's... the score might still... Treb. I think... Mats is making some berserks now, but... Yeah, I'm. I don't really believe the score too much. I think it's a bit. It's probably scouting. It's gone through, through all over yeah. the map. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we're now with a. What? Where is this trap? I do like well, quite a promising start. I okay. So Rob has a trap. Garrisoned in his uh, castle. Um, yeah, he he's making a, nice a second on one. Oh, no, Island. Nice on his own island. I don't understand why he's garrisoning them. Like, especially that. Okay, now he ungarrisons them. Especially like the first castle that Gobanius built. I think you can just unpack the traps within reach of the castle and just start trebbing it down. You have your knights, you have the castle, it defends you. 
there's no way Trobanius can do anything about it. Trobanius now going to Imperial. Uh, using that enormous gold stockpile just to buy his way to Imperial. But again, I don't think he has the eco to do anything. But that might actually change if, you know, if uh, if Rob doesn't start really producing extra villagers. Tobinus is catching up. And he's uh, dropping another castle on the southern uh, part of uh, Rob's island. It's, I mean, this was indeed in the player profile. Tobinus loves his castle drops, but I think he's pushing it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, can he deal with the uh, Cavalier? I don't think so. No, he can't deal with the Cavalier. Cavaliers. Maybe if the traps move out a bit exposed, he can still kill some of them with uh, his longboats. But he did get some Cavaliers on uh, his original yeah. island now. Yeah, I, th I think if he wants to deal with the Cavalier, he should not be going his own knights. No, 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 that's a mistake. And the, the only possible way you can deal with this is in Imperial Research Chieftain. Well, no, you don't need to be Imperial. Chieftains is already in Castle, where your, uh, your infantry units deal extra damage versus cavalry. Uh, yeah. Well, because they don't. They also. Vikings don't get helps should be more uh, trying a bit maybe to win some time by repairing his car. Well, or the next one indeed, I think he needs to repair to win some time. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's just killing him that he doesn't have a food eco. No. Cavalier, I, I don't agree with this choice. Like you're... No. Your uh, knights. I think he just wants to go with one push to try and kill the trips. But, well, Rob's eco is solid enough to just make uh, another mm -hmm. one, and I don't think he can. Uh, Meanwhile, no. the last barracks on his original island is being cleaned up. Mm. I think Rob would benefit more from just Actually, transporting the, the, those cavaliers. Maybe Rob to his should main start one. building some. Boats, I think. Well, just to clear it up quicker because the long boats are doing some damage. Not well, not enough. But... Yeah. Yeah, indeed. And then they range traps here. I guess not. The Viking cavaliers come in, try to snipe the traps, but Rob is paying attention. And he's not allowing any hits in. Mats now managed to get him to fight underneath the fire of his longboats, but I don't think that's going to do it. Now he manages to get to the traps. No, well, doesn't manage to kill a single one. Yes, GG. and also now I think that yeah. GG is called. I think that was uh, a very huh? good, uh, very good decision. Nice game, very nice yeah, game. Yeah, very nice game. Also quite tactical. Uh, yeah. Very tactical indeed. Um, yeah. What? Nice. So, on to game number two, which will be on one of the home maps of uh, Cobanus. So, Pilgrims or Water Nomads. And while I fix things here uh, so that our map overview is up to date. Yes, I'm searching for the game. Uh, I, I was hoping you could fill the time because I'm also still uh, searching okay, for okay. the game to copy. Found, but yes. Uh, game, yeah, I think Mats maybe, well, Mats is very much known for uh, water and liking to build ships, but it's very tricky on these maps to sort of get a good balance between how much you invest into water mm -hmm. itself and how much do you still defend. I think here, yeah, his main uh, 
the main issue was, I think, that he didn't defend his bases enough. He spent too much yes. uh, on other uh, because he I was so he was just before the knights came in. I think the game was about equal. I think it was indeed about equal. Um, he could have had a much better chance if he had efficiently used the galleys that he had to actually go snipe the fish. Yeah, at the of beginning Rob. he built galleys early, and then he didn't really make use of them enough. It felt like indeed. But I'm That's I'm curious now like. because he can choose yeah. between. Water Nomad and Pilgrims, mm -hmm. twice, well, two times uh, water, still quite a bit of water uh, again. Mm -hmm. Will this up, uh, well, I, I, will he adapt uh, his strategy after the first game that didn't really end up Let's how we see. wanted it? Uh, uh, so I have, I have the game uh, ready to uh, go. I'll open mm -hmm. it. It's not what I expected, but I'm also not completely surprised. So it's Water Nomad, and it's yes. uh, for Robenius Britons and Huns for Rob. Huns on Water Nomads. Mm -hmm. So uh, 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 I think Water Nomad is by far the most peculiar map in the map pool, so I'm quite curious to see. Yes, what I'm also kind of strategies they will use? Out. Indeed. Uh, are yeah. you ready? Uh, I'm ready. If you you can count. Three, two, one, go. And so I think oh, there wow. was like the non-aggression uh, rule about not attacking uh, anyone yes. in the nomad start because I, I saw I, some I... villagers started next to each other and I know. I would have liked to attack, and I think Mats is uh, the player that maybe would have done it as well. But uh... Yes, but indeed, uh, as you know, there is a rule. The first three minutes, uh, you're not allowed to vilfight. The first in-game three minutes, which, you know, yeah. 1.7 times speed. Probenius a bit quicker with his town center than Rob. Also, a better spot. Rob built his mm -hmm. one next to Gold, but there's no wood line. Uh, yeah, there's just the single Benius. tree. I think that's gonna hurt him yeah. at least a little bit. Uh, so he's gonna be quite exposed. Also, Matt is building house. I don't know. Is uh oh, okay. Rob doesn't need. Of course, he sounds. Indeed, that is. That it's is a tricky. A you you don't have you don't have a lot of time to. You need to build your two houses, your dock and your town center, quite mm -hmm. fast. Or yeah. you will lose a nice, lot of time in this map. Indeed, nice usage of uh, all his wood by uh, by Fobelius. Uh, immediately and obviously, Britain's. It's a map with. Ah, okay. Uh, a map with a lot of buffalo, and they get their sheep herding bonus. I just uh, got a message from. Uh, it's sudden death, uh, apparently. Oh, this is so sudden did, death. We didn't really uh, know, so apparently, uh, this is the sudden death game. Ooh. Which, ooh, yeah. That makes How it does this quite change the game? Uh, I don't. At the beginning, not a lot. Obviously, you never. Well, there's lose, one I major think. advantage, because uh, I don't know if you spotted it, but there was a fishing ship of Rob Rockhart that Who knew just where the town center was. The town yeah. center. So Rob knows where uh, Fobenius is hanging out. Fobenius does not know where uh, Rob is hanging out. Uh, and I'm just going to switch over Frobenius' point of view. He is scouting with his fishing ships. Mm -hmm. Also, I think uh, there's lots and lots of uh, water buffaloes on this map, and I do believe that Britons get the bonus, so that's quite obviously sort of yes. prepared, I think, uh, strategy. I think that's indeed the, you know, the strategy quite that well how to do. And I think. Uh, only now a duck from uh, our hand player from Rob. Yeah, that's quite late. That and means the that those ships are all—they're all filled, but they can't. Uh, give. Can't so I up. think clearly Frobenius is better prepared for this map Indeed. for this water nomad than uh, Rob. Indeed, absolutely. And now, no, ah, his uh, fishing then... ship is scouting quite well, but he's sort of just missed the narrow strip where Rob is. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, just a question for the audience. Uh, 
which one of the players called for sudden death mode. Because uh, it'd be interesting to know which one of the two made that decision. I, I would guess that it's Cobanius who did it. Yeah, Cobanius indeed. Okay. Hmm. This is the kind of sudden death is the kind of uh, map where if you want to do it uh, like Matt did in the last game, uh, dropping a lot of castles. Once that you is... get a castle up near the town center, it's, um, it's yeah, impossible to. Yeah. You need to be extremely lucky to get it down really quickly, but if you manage to do it, it's indeed bye bye town center and you win. Yeah, that's also interesting. So it's the first game with one of the special rules uh, that we have yeah. activated. Yeah. And yeah, look at, just look at the mass of Buffalo. Yeah, yeah. He got his fishing ship running earlier. He's got the Britain mm -hmm. bonus for the Buffalo. So and He's got 12 Buffaloes ready to be slaughtered on the BCC. And he the feudal and he age. Up. He's going to have a massive food eco. He's still scouting as well with one fishing ship, which is quite... Ah, yeah, he did find the town center. He did find the town center. Okay. So that equalizes the things a little, at least a little bit. Yeah, indeed, he found. Now it's a bit. I'm a bit curious for the economy balance because what do you do when you arrive in feudal? I think the most logical play would just be to go immediately full ships. I mm -hmm. see that Probenius is still having lots and lots of on foot. Mm -hmm. I'm and then... not. Yeah, he could just immediately go for fast castle. I think, he's, castle. Going for I think castle. he's going fast castle. Um, he'll probably need a little bit more on gold, I would expect. Uh, two on gold seems a, with 117 in the bank seems a little bit too little. Uh, what are the other rules again? Uh, for the the possible special rules. Uh, you can lower the population limit to 100. Uh, you can limit the ending age to uh, feudal or castle. Um, uh, or you can make it captured relic, but then it also turns into a six player map. I think those are all the special rules that we have. Uh, so yeah, every player can at one point during a series, call for one of the special rules to be activated. Mats wanted to build a market, but then realized he didn't have a mill yet. So now the market is coming, and once it's up, I believe he will have enough food to click mm -hmm. castle. He will indeed. Ah, the... well, he's a little bit down on food, but yeah, just cancel two villagers and he's there. Oh, double bit axe. Okay. Then he might not immediately go for a yeah. castle. I think uh, once the fishing ship comes yeah, back from there. Yeah, I think hunt. Rob is catching up in eco because he's been building fishing ships. But also, there's not that much fish on this map, actually. No. Well, at least I not think... deep fish. Mm -hmm. So it might give him a boost for a short while, but. Yeah, yeah, it's also just... now it's quite long distance fishing. That's already the case for Frobenius. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the the eco looked looks about the same for both, but I think I actually prefer Frobenius's eco, and he is up to castle. Oh, that's so much of the map. There's still water buffaloes coming uh, home. So uh, I'm pretty sure there never mm -hmm. will be a farm uh, on this side uh, of uh, Fun fact, if map. you build a farm in this amphibious area, it's not a farm. It's a rice farm. It's a rice? Oh, okay. No yes. Rice. It's completely irrelevant, but it's just some flavor. How mm -hmm. much is the range of a castle? Is it eight? I think eight. Mm. I'm just wondering if you build walls like Mats is doing with houses and uh, stuff. 
maybe do it at a castle outside of uh, the walls. You can't just reach teach, reach your uh, TC. I think it might. True. For, uh, true. Well, what you could also do, a second it's... dock. So now there's some scouts coming in. So this is something that was well anticipated actually because he is. Yeah, he's fully walled. Well. These scouts are gonna do nothing. He's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did you see what is in the dock from Mats? I I I assume oh demolition rafts. I. <laughs> oh, how much? I have no idea how much you would need to kill a town center. That's a good I. That's a good question. Also, that's not a strategy I would think of. Yeah, just kill the town center with demolition rafts. Oh well. Demolition it, ships. Yeah. I think if he does the... Oh, it's interesting. It's obviously I mean, quite important that is... Grub does not see this. It's a bit of shame that uh, he's, only garrisoned, uh, he's only garrisoning in the first stock. Yeah. I think, yeah, well, Grub's DC is completely exposed. Uh, if I go look over there... Oh yeah. And there also... you can also see the rice farms. Even if he doesn't go for the TC, which I believe he will, because yeah, it's clearly I mean, the sudden death strategy. Just he could like... still do so much damage near the gold, near the TC with demolition. Yes. So many villagers just completely exposed. And yeah, uh, Robinus is indeed doing the war galley upgrade, which not only upgrades your galleys, but also your uh, fire galleys and your demolition rafts. Yeah, the demolition. Uh, okay, so Ships. how much does he have now? Four, five, six. He's got six. I really and don't five know. I, in the queue. I'm pretty sure he knew how much uh, he needed. <laughs> I. This seems to be a uh, prepared. I'm not sure, but yeah. Still building five more. Oh, this uh. Uh, could be nice. Could be nice. Do you see what's in the queue for uh, Rob Rockhart? Also two demolition rafts. Yeah. Uh, okay. Did he spot the demolition ships? I don't uh, think, I don't even see, I don't even know if he knows the three docks are over there, he's just, he stayed on one side oh, with his scouts. Oh. He ejected. The demolition ships have been ejected. There's 11, 11. of them on the way. <laughs> I... I really wonder. Yeah, there's nothing gonna stop them, I think. N nothing can it's stop them, no. This is... He's got nothing, he's got nothing. If 11 is enough to yes. kill a town center, it's GG. Now, oh, he can still... If Rob reacts quickly, no he doesn't. Yeah! Yeah! And that's the snipe! That's oh, okay. the snipe! Very nice, very nice. I did not Short see this game, coming! But... <laughs> this was... Oh, I forgot to update the scoreboard, uh, so... It's 1-1. Oh, yeah. What the hell? This? Yes, what? Yes, yes. Wow, this... This ah. is clearly the advantage of having uh, other maps than uh, Arabia Arena. Yes. Or uh, uh, one-shot strategies to work uh, very nicely. Congratulations, indeed. Matt. I'm sure he's watching. <laughs> this is amazing. This is... I did not see this one coming. I think this is also completely in the spirits of the game. Or at least a tournament. Yes. Ooh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So. Yeah, yeah, 1-1. One, one. We have one, a game. One. We have a game series, indeed. Uh, yeah, so game three going to be on one of Rob's uh, maps. What options are there? Is it Aftermath and Marketplace? Uh, Socotra and Marketplace. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Aftermath is uh, okay. Socotra. Ah, okay. So it's a more classical uh, marketplace in any case. Random map. Socotra, the regicide. Mm -hmm. What sifts do you believe they will uh, go for? Uh, well, what map for? Well, maybe. Yeah. Um, I, I would go for Marketplace. I mean, you you've seen that, especially in the Northern Isles game. Phobenius has no issue making it messy and dragging it on. So I don't know how confident I would be 
picking Socotra. Uh, so I would go Marketplace. Quite uh, reasonable. Mm -hmm. And what kind of sieves? Um, marketplace is random map, right? Marketplace is random map. Uh, could we see goth? We could see goth, I think. I mean, we when I saw the draft first, uh, I somewhat frowned at the goths. Thought like this might be a typically not really a sieve that gets picked in one v ones. But with Marketplace, you can actually have infinite gold. Also uh, so if quite you... wallable if you... Very easily wallable. Time. It's not, well, it's not high so you... but it's still doable to... It's, it's indeed very doable to just lock away an entire portion of the map. So if you manage uh -huh. to do that and then keep yourself safe until Imperial, then gods are unstoppable with their massive god yeah. spam. But well, maybe we'll have a look at what uh, yes. we actually ended up picking. And, uh, wow. Well, we were... Uh, well, my guess of Marketplace was right, but that's about the only thing that was right. Because it's not right. gods. It's Mongols for Rob and Bulgarians for Mats or Fubenius. Mongols versus Bulgarians. Right. Different kind of uh, style, I'm guessing. Kind, indeed. Scouts uh, opening for the Mongol player. Uh, I am in three seconds, so for my part, well, for my part, you can uh, yeah. go ahead. So, three, two, one, go. So yeah, marketplace more a somewhat traditional one v one setting. Uh, there are some differences with normal maps. So you start with an additional pavilion, which functions as a house. Uh, you don't have a scout, but you start with two trade cards. And the reason this map is called Marketplace is... Uh, it used to be in two opposite corners and you had to find them, but now in the recent patch, they changed it to... In every corner of the map, there is a neutral market that you can trade with. Uh, and then scattered around the map are these tiny wood lines, which make it so that even with relatively short walls and somewhat small investment in time, uh, you can easily wall off an entire section. They're quite close to each other, actually. They are indeed quite close to each other, which I think favors the Bulgarian player. I think so. I guess it would be logical to go Man at Arms uh, opening for a Bulgarian player. Mm -hmm. closer. Then, yeah. then again, Mongols, Mongols do get their hunt bonus, so they can get their, what is it, uh, 16 pop scout rush uh, or something along those lines, which is just insanely aggressive. Uh, but Willy, I don't oh, I don't know rough enough if, if he's willing to go like 16. It's it's one. It's uh, it's, it's almost all in. I think. Uh, it I also, is kind of all in. You need to do damage with it. I prefer Mats going to the center for his wood. I think. I don't know if the lumber camp is could be one further. I guess, but. I prefer it than going to a backwood, although there's two woods yeah. quite close together. Yeah, I, I think I also somewhat prefer uh, Matz's placement, sorry, for Bames's placement of uh, Lumber Camp, but I think Rob, as long as he pays attention to his uh, wood line, I don't think that's a bad placement. Like, he can always uh, go for another one. There's also they have His like synchronous uh, idle casually... TC time. <laughs> I can... mean, I think our exactly seeding is the same. Uh... Mm -hmm. uh. Uh. I think they, Quite they a lot did get. I, I wonder what they were doing at this part. Oh no! Oh, that's painful. That's painful. Rob tried to do the TC trick 
to get uh, the board down quicker with less idle time uh, and often in a somewhat nicer uh, position than you usually do with normal villagers. Also doubly but... painful because he does have the hand bonus for his boar, so that's yes. his main early eco yeah. advantage. That's indeed his main advantage. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure, yes, we see Mats just casually eating his wild boar. <laughs> yeah, I think that's quite a painful blow to Rob's strategy. Uh, any super early aggression no. is now just off well, the table. I think obviously it's painful, but nothing really. He's, he's no. now moving to his zero as well. So yeah, yeah, I think nothing is lost, but uh, I don't think if he had any plans of going early aggression, like the super early aggression with Mongols, yeah, 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 I don't true. think that's possible. Anymore. But indeed, with the Mongol hunt bonus, sending a couple villagers to build a mill and then getting those deer down, that's a very, that's a very good compromise, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still wondering whether they will go for early aggression or not. I think that's the second boar is now coming in. We will probably only click feudal when it's almost ah uh, trade card down. Trade card down indeed. Um, Cobainis does have. Okay, well, Rob now caught up on idle TC time. Mm. Yeah. So I, I think the, play, I the two players quite are... quite a lot of idle, ETH, ETH, idle TC time, both of them, no? Yeah, so that's uh, 25 seconds is one villager, so uh, they're each about... Well, Rob is down about four or five villagers. Uh, yeah, Rubenius is down six. Price, actually, but... Mats now researching, uh, Frobenius is now researching Loom and uh, probably clicking Feudal afterwards. While mm -hmm. Rob is running out of food underneath his DC, but it did click Feudal, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now he's. I, I don't like the. F well, I'm not convinced, let's say, by the Farms Edition right now. I Once you arrive in Feudal, you do. He still needs his barracks. You mm -hmm. like to build a stable, you will need your wood, and it does have only six on wood, I think, or he has seven on wood. Seven. I, yeah, also his berries, he's got seven on berries. I think it would have been better if he had sent two villagers from under the TC to go help with the hunt, and then yeah, just and put the other ones stragglers up. with the yeah, tree. Put the other ones on the so Mats did get his barracks up, swallowing a bit. Mm -hmm. And he's already making militia. Uh, he's got two on yeah. gold as well. So yeah, this is indeed uh, a mana tarm strategy that he's trying. Uh, also, if he's not careful, he's gonna get housed very soon. Yeah, he's at I'm... 23 out of 25. It's a bit of a... Now Rob is in feudal, but what does he do? Because he doesn't have the wits. He doesn't have what to do anything indeed. And indeed that's completely due to the four farms, which is taking 240 wood. So now he's sending more, but how long will it be? I also... Matsu's timing is also a bit where you'd like to have your militia arrive, I think. He's still housed as well. Now you like to have your host. militia arrive near the opponents when they get the free mana arms upgrade. Yeah, so the timing is yeah? not it's completely two minutes there. Of, there is this is like the general random map start right with a normal amount mm -hmm. of food. Yeah, I'm yeah, surprised. Yeah. yeah. Well, he does have the oh the no, good luck. Ooh, and this is also in painful because now the stable yeah. probably that's stable. Ooh, can't ah, he, could have, he can't he could cancel it. second villager, I think, because Mats was only paying attention to one. Yeah. That's another 150 woods that was completely... No, now he's going back to try to finish it. 
He just yeah. needs one quick wall. Yeah, no, it's gonna go up indeed, yeah. but then you have to ask, well, scouts against men at arms? Uh, I think you, you need if the you go scouts, you still Ooh, maybe I don't agree with this tower. To, uh, oh, but this, oh, the tower is also... I don't agree uh, with this tower at all. It's, it doesn't really protect anything, and I think you will lose either... Oh, and I was fighting. Uh, this is looking like a tough start for uh, Rob Rock Heart. Yes, and he's already down six villagers, seven villagers. For a four mana arms investment? I yeah, think this yeah. Is it's... Eight villagers down. And he yeah. forced him to start building a, a tower. Still, he he deletes thought, uh... it, gets stone back, but he's already lost quite a bit. He he can't go for uh, three TCs without going for at least a couple of villagers on stone. Yeah, and even mm -hmm. if he sends out his scouts now. There like are some, the gold is defensible, but Matz's wood line is perfectly uh, mm -hmm. defensible now. Actually, quite nice with the gates. So, I, I don't you know can't if... touch his wood, you can't touch his farms. Oof. No. That's gonna go up. I... Ooh, the scouts are still gonna get in. Yeah, okay, yeah. but for being noticed it. Go up. But I think the amount of damage that you can do with the scouts is a lot less now than five yeah. minutes in game time earlier. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and then just deciding, screw those walls. We're gonna go for something slightly differently. So, uh, just... Also, what is... Also, another advantage. Hobanus has realized that he can just trade with those trade cards. I mean, one of those trade cards is now under attack by the... By the but scouts. at least he did gain well, like one time uh, 26 gold, so. Uh, yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah. Well, you have the trade cards, so you can just as well use them, true. Yeah. I don't know if this I mean, will it's... be really important unless it goes to the late game. Indeed. And now. Scouts are. I, I, well, that was nice, Micro, trying to lure the scouts back and then sending the trade card to the market again. I, I'm liking the micro here. I'm unsure what Frobenius' plan is, though, at this Ooh, did point. This was dangerous. So if... Of, yeah, now the farming economy... If Rob had paid attention, uh, when you lay down the foundations of farms, they can uh, already yeah. be sniped by, by the enemy. Because so actually was... now, with the new scouts coming in, Ooh, that's quite a commitment. I don't know. There's like three spear. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it's still well, maybe not. Just not enough. He also doesn't have like the upgrades on the scouts, so he doesn't have the upgrades. We'll be able, think... But it's good that Matt now decides to yeah. try to continue the walling. I think Fabianus is paying too close attention for this raid to do too much damage. I mean, okay, they find a villager kill. Yeah, I do. Is Farm production could have been a bit smoother, I feel, but now, yeah. Just keep some spearmen near the... Uh... Is there actually a hole in the, the wood line now, or not? Um, that is a hole. And th that last piece yeah. of uh, palisade wall was not built. I, but also the wood line of Mats, I think. I, not, I can't see it 100%, yes. but I think there's a the hole over there yes. as well. To the south of the gate, there's a, a one-tile gap yeah, that okay. the villagers chopped through. So the scouts could get in there, but I think they're yeah. uh, a little bit too busy running around. I think Rob needs spirits. to keep these alive just as a distraction. Yes. Don't, don't take uh, too many fights, but just keep him running after you. Force him to pay attention to it. Actually, the eco difference, because the idle time of Mats uh, Frobenius has been really big, eco difference has been cancelled. It's right? oh, almost completely cancelled. It's yeah. 33 villagers each. So that's also something to take into account. Uh, even if you do go on raids, if you don't keep up villager production in your own base, then 
it There's might be no idle this. villagers near his farms. I think he not his foot after the damage he did, his foot eco was not quickly enough. He should have yeah. been able to click uh, castle already for quite some time. Indeed. No, but also, yeah, where are the yeah the spearmen? That is that's just really hard. I think I mean, keeping your spearmen in the right place when the scouts are running around, it's just it, it's, yeah, it it's takes so much difficult. energy. Indeed. Meanwhile, if we look at Rob's uh, situation, yeah. he's got. He seems to have a quite nice uh, eco in general. Yeah, um, his eco, his villager working. The disadvantage is that unlike Matsuo is sort of wild by now. There's not much not. of a way in defense. Mm -hmm. So once Matsu arrives in the castle, mm -hmm. there's a the period the of is, time. What is Matsu going for? Yeah, it's. I don't see any military buildings going up. I yeah, I, I can't not, really deduce just, anything from the. He has the, the wood. Eco. Maybe just go for uh, two TCs and boom. I think this yeah, might. Just a, he doesn't just really have. Boom. He also doesn't have a lot on gold for making costlage. Mm -hmm. And like you said, he doesn't have the. Yeah, the he doesn't need yeah, just have stable or archery range. Mm -hmm. Okay, He's yeah, going to stone with a lot, so probably. Yeah, the mining camp gets turned into a TC. He can drop a second one somewhere. Also, the advantage of Bulgarians: TCs only cost fifty stone. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. So, so he uh... he has a potential for a massive boom. He can easily drop two more. Two more town centers, yeah. and now going for squires and wheelbarrows. So he is going for more of a an infantry-based approach. Yeah, like I'm assuming, I guess that. Uh... Ah, if we. M meanwhile, Rob is going for bloodlines and scale barding armor. So it's more of a cav approach, um, not as you yeah. could expect a cav archer. Okay. Yeah, actually, I was thinking when the pikeman, if he's not scouting, is like a bit of a guess because actually, if Rob goes, he's going stone as well. If he goes Mangudai, yeah, he can't do a lot with no. the pikemans, and he's going, he's committing because he's doing the upgrades, but as well adding the extra barracks. Mm -hmm. But if Rob goes knights, then, then uh, you then has the perfect for a push. Yeah. Yeah, long swordsman coming up. Uh, a couple more barracks being produced. Uh, forging and scale mail armor are are already in. So yeah, that's yeah. So that's gonna be a pike plus long swords push, I would guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The knights from Rob maybe are uh, a bit tough now, but Matt's only added one TC. Uh, only so far, added yeah. one TC indeed. Yeah, he used to wood for the barracks, of course. Yeah, yeah. but he has wood to make another TC. Uh, I think it would be a, a nice idea to now do a first push, uh, like stop military production a little bit, do a first push, build up more eco, and then just keep going. Yeah, but now if he doesn't mix in some pikemen, the the long swordsmen that are now moving forward, I I guess they just get cleaned up by the knights. Uh, how many? He's got four knights in the building. Uh, uh, with upgrades, it might. Wow. Well, no, he's got six, uh, eight, two stables. Yeah, in total, but in that yeah, one he just stable. Yeah, up actually. He yeah, should. he he just cleans up the long swords. Yeah, he should have waited for the for the pikemen, I think. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Still some villager. He, he was kind of holding a little bit, but... No, now he's uh, moving back. Oh, and now, uh, We see Kripos, Kripos. Yeah. Yeah. And Oh, but it's yeah, also... No. Ah, but it's a one... Oh. It's a one-tile hole. I <laughs> don't know who I favor here. Do I favor the pikeman or 
the knights. I think I actually favor the knights. Yes, I favor the knights. Like if you can't attack with multiple pikes at once, then yeah, the knights will. Yeah, but win. I think the crypt post. Ooh, he doesn't. Uh, Mats need. To... Oh, okay, now the knights come back. So. Mm, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Yeah, but he's losing a lot of his knights and army, though, and he's behind in economy. So even if the Krepos doesn't go up at this point, he's lost his army. Yeah, he's got one villager left building the Krepos, but now there's yeah, this was a twelve really good pikes for guarding him. it. Why is the villager yeah. stopping? Yes. He's just okay. haunting a bit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I so don't know. I don't why. even need to finish this building. Oh, and now there's uh, the uh, the last knights in the stable. No, okay. Okay. Now there's a cripple there being garrisoned by the, and then Conix getting out. Okay. So this was the plan. Yeah, Conix, very now nasty units. The stables. He has enough Cavalry bike that turns into infantry. The... Yeah, he's got easy. enough. He's got indeed got enough pikes to just neutralize anything that pops out of that stable. And then the cripples is just taking down that house foundation. Yes, and then indeed yeah. the conic. Actually. Turning into a dismounted comic when killed. Yes. So actually, at this point, can I see this? Uh, Mats has gotten 200 gold trade profit from his one trade card, uh, moving uh, backwards and forwards. I mean, it's it's free gold, right? Yeah, it's free. It's and the trade card of uh, Rob is doing absolutely nothing. Oh, but while checking on it, there's a group of yeah. seven knights. That are just going to sneak completely around the map. It's a logical decision, I think. You can't really defend yeah. well with the uh, knights, so you just have to hope. Actually, what he would need, I think, maybe buy a castle. If it's been um... able. I, I would have. I like the decision of sending the knights forward to do damage, but then he needs something to defend at home, and I think he can buy a castle at this point. Mm -hmm. Be the best would have been the yeah and the only actual option without having army and now he is he's adding the archery range cavalry archer so it's a good I think it's a good call it's a good call and, and now the Cobain's knights are arriving they can undefended. they will be they, they will do a lot of damage yeah yeah should do a lot of damage immediate reaction oh yeah I'm, I, at the beginning of the game, we're together, but now I'm all uh, after a while. I'm just lagging behind, uh, so I'm gonna watch on your part. So yeah, I'm at almost 36, 30 seconds. Um, yeah, no, yeah, I'm I like think seconds, but yeah, I, I think the way Fabian's defense against this is just continue the pikeman production, but just keep them at home, and they can't yeah. do anything. He needs to. Meanwhile, and now we need going to forward. worry a bit about repeating the style of the first. He needs yeah. to actually make the pikemen and defend at home and not just continue building creposts. Yes, at the front. but I he think does have he like learned. a lot of conics. He's still in a very good I think good he learned spot. though, because you have the you have the mass yeah. of twenty five pikes against those seven knights. A market going back up again to restore the trade. Meanwhile, villagers forward to Mindstone, because why not? Also, a good uh, decision at the front is attacking the ranges, I think. Yes. Oh, If you can stop him is... from massing, he has to eject those cavalry arch. Where did he go? He doesn't have enough. Yes. Really, so... Yeah, and you can just force the fights by starting to kill villagers with a couple conics. Yeah. Good, uh... And then the conics are just such hardy things you kill them and they stand back up again as infantry it's super annoying I, I would advise against fighting under the TC though that's that kind of hurts yeah but yeah, okay yeah. he's now retreating 
Uh, I'm expecting to just see this entire base getting littered with creep posts. Yeah. Whenever he has enough stone for a creep post, there's another one coming up. Yeah. Here is like, it's actually nice because it's also his protection. I think. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. It's important. I get the numbers. I, so I think this is a slow creep right? forward. Yeah. That creep post is going up and then garrison inside. Yes. And then. Yeah. Nothing those cap archers can Oh do. yeah, a lot of damage. Yeah. Like already... We're close to... base already killed 39 villagers compared to 15. Yeah, I think GG is coming very soon. I would expect that, indeed. I think Rob's problem in the game was a lot of times his woods. Even now, when he was under pressure, he was floating a lot of food and gold. Mm -hmm. But he lacks the woods to like get production up. Yeah, game calls. Mm. Also, the, and that, that's why I sort of like going early to the middle. Even I would have liked from that maybe a town center to the middle just to have like so more or less secured your wood income. But yeah, it was very well. It was a clean game. Indeed, a very very clean game. And that means that we are moving on to Sokotra, the last home map of Rob. Uh, yes. Because it's 2-1 now uh, for Fobenius. Uh, Sokotra, so we've seen it already in the final game between Joe Nasty and Snelly. Uh, very small map. Um, gets very messy very quickly. Uh, we can expect a lot of things to happen in Dark Age already, I think. So yeah. this might be the first game that we see laming of boars and uh, and sheep. Uh, what do you think? Uh, well, looking at Rob Sif's, maybe I would Mayans or Aztecs. I think I sort of like Eagles in a close game as well. But yeah, I think yeah, Gods is an option if you want to go Man at Arms early, but given that the other options are Mines and Ice, like I expect a Mesosif from Rob. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what are the Lithuanians, Franks, and what is the last one? Is it Malay or? Malay. That's Malay. Yeah. Maybe just go Franks. I don't know. Mm. I guess. Yeah. We can go and see. Do you think uh, what will the next game uh, give, Wouter? Give a prediction, Sokotra. You know the players, you know the map. Well, uh, I've now also seen the civilization, so I will also share that with everybody now. So it's obviously Sokotra, and it's Aztecs versus Lithuanians. Uh, I think Lithuanians is a very good choice. Because you have the 150 food extra in the beginning, you're not as impacted by the laming. And uh, you can also, or you can also make the decision to, well, go for more military units earlier. Uh, yes. How? Oh, okay, okay, no. I, I entered the game uh, like two seconds in and I missed the fact that there were already, there were already a lot of villagers queued, so I was wondering about the starting resources. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think when you say the 150 food, because it's regicide and players start with 500 food and woods, I think it plays less of a role. It does play normal. less of a role than in a normal map, but I think that was the reasoning why Lithuanians, uh, yeah. and I still think that it's, if you maybe trained on this a little bit, you can somehow make that 150 uh, food into an advantage. On the other hand, yeah. Aztecs start with plus 50 gold, so they are the only civilization, I think, that does not start with zero gold in regicide. Actually, with so, early aggression and not forgetting loom. about loom, this is quite uh, useful as well. Also, like the first, you start a uh, house, so that's quite a nice. Uh, so Indeed. let's jump in, I guess. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. So yeah, indeed, uh, you start housed. Uh, immediately two houses being queued for, by both players. 
Uh, Cobain is choosing to just immediately garrison the king in his town center, uh, while uh, Rob and just look at that beautiful king, that Mesoamerican uh, ah, king. Yeah. It does look nice. I'm not going uh, oh, He decides to go yeah. scouting, which yeah. is somewhat dangerous. Yeah, but I actually could... think. Yeah, he did also lose some HP on his scouts. But I think. I don't think a scout is quicker, so I don't think there's much of a worry unless it, there it... are more than. True, but if you do need to take care that you pay attention to your king, mm. otherwise it's a nasty surprise. Could be, could be. I also. I mean, let's be Personally, honest, how many I times don't... have we seen a scout just run under the TC and get sniped? If that happens with your king. Yeah, true. It's a short game. It's a very short game. Given our memory of shared uh, regicide games, I'm sort of worried about uh, putting the king in the town center because I use a lot of uh, garrison and garrison uh, hotkeys and it's quite possible that my king will find itself in a wood line or something while a tower I, I is think more secure for me. But That is indeed what I would also prefer, but if you don't use the garrison and garrison trick, I don't see anything wrong with, uh, no, with no. keeping your king in the town center. Uh, and obviously, you can use your king to scout, but as it is Socotra, um, uh, Frobenius taking a quite forward uh, elephant there. Yeah, that is indeed uh, quite I mean, forward. They do know uh, where they are. And now, yeah. oh, he's trying to... Ah! Ooh. Okay, he's in time. But okay, still, the lack so of he's... loom is dangerous. Ah, it's close. Lack of loom is indeed very dangerous. Uh, See, and now he ungarrisoned his king and he's garrisoned this king again. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah in this yeah. case, it is indeed somewhat... Uh, somewhat Curious. dangerous. But yeah. At this point, obviously not, but once you have mm -hmm. more things to do after Dark Age, it's hard, sometimes hard to keep track of your king. Indeed, indeed. And now the second elephant being lured in by Phobanius. Uh, it's a little bit early, there's still 200 food left on his previous elephant. He's probably concerned about getting them. More than more like, than being preventing from uh, Rob from getting them, then also the house now. So that's yeah, it's yeah, once not again, the most efficient. And um, now, now it's more logical that the idle TC time is higher because you have like the 25 seconds at the beginning mm -hmm. in any case because you need to build the houses, yeah, and but still to loom in that time period. But still, yeah, it's more than I would have expected from a most minute players. Behind. I think. Yeah. But I do like the fact that also now again, Mats is like walling in his wood line with mm -hmm. a gate. It's, I know you don't Keeping like the safe. gates because of the lack of uh, Pierce armor or the lack yeah. of armor, but it's still just such a. It, it stays walled. You can just put your gathering point there. You don't really have to worry too much about it. Well, it will I mean, probably, I've, in a few uh, moments, will be, become messy. I fully agree. But yeah, I, I just prefer not to have the... Well, to have as yeah. few gates as possible. Uh, and... Oh, Rob has been pushing this... a lot of ostriches, I guess? Uh, Rob has indeed been pushing because ostriches, which I is, only see uh, one scouts. standing at the original place uh, of the yeah, ostriches. Yeah, yeah. So he... Yeah, yeah. he's been more, pushing them quite heavily with his scouts. As soon as he noticed that uh, the elephant the was gone. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good because hunt. I uh, sort of I like the, I think the the hunt is almost always forward. I in, think so. Uh, yes. Sokotra because it's always yeah it's a lot of there's a lot of hunt. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, it's yeah it's exposed. No, no. It is very exposed. Uh, now a barracks being built by Rob. Uh, timing wise, that's going to be if he uses it at all. That will be a man at arms rush, but ah, yeah, he has Both no gold went at the up moment. The feudal quite early though, 18 villagers. 
but very similar. Well, ten seconds. Yeah, but it's it's regicide. So, so those ah, yeah, it's numbers are. As well, so it's not, yeah, obviously true. I mean, compare that to the previous game we saw Yonasti go up with fourteen villagers or something. Yeah, yeah, true. So it's you you can have a quicker feudal age. Yeah. Okay, so what the barracks it? was not built for infantry because he's not building anything at the moment. Yeah, I think no, now he's putting more on gold, but he needed, well, yeah. as an Aztecs player, you either you go archers gold. or you go eagles. Mm -hmm. So you need a lot need of gold. gold. Uh, Fabianus now also has loom. So. Yeah. Loom for both players. Raiding has it's been quite good. reduced a bit. From Probanius that he thought of it because it can be yes. quite painful not to have a uh, loom and yeah. because you don't do it at the general well you don't have the gold at the normal point. It's mm -hmm. easier to forget it. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So he's going for a stable scouts, no doubt. Yeah. Cute, yeah, and scouts cute. Meanwhile the Aztecs player is going for an archery range. Which is spotted by the scout of Hobanis, so he knows that there is going to be archers incoming. Uh, honestly, at this point, I somewhat prefer Hobanis's position. Yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm not sure about the eco balance though. I would put a couple more villagers on farms. The like thing 14 is, he needs on more on food to eventually go to Castlage. Uh, obviously, yes. he's also building scouts. It depends a bit on how fully you want to commit village. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, now the scouts are moving out. Actually, uh, so far they haven't built that much. Also, uh, yeah. there's like the archers building, but I think, well, he needs to, even with the archers, he needs to have like a spearman added when he goes offensive because or I do like really the fact that he's dwelling his gold. Can he? I think there's a hole there. Ooh, yeah, it's I... painful. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a. That's a painful raid. That's very painful. And he did get armor. On yeah. his scout, so he did. So they're a little bit more hardy, and then he goes into the wood yeah, line. Find it still. Oh, it's. Oof. And also, I mean, he didn't one... yet do a spearman, I think, so no, there's nothing really archers. coming from the fence either. The no, archers, just the but I... archers, but. Archers, Oof. but the scouts, there's still four scouts with good HP and with armor, so unless the DC fire. Well, DC reduced of damage, like... one of the scouts to. Two hit, po two hit points. Um, yeah. But I think, I think the damage has been done already. Yeah, I think the only you have quite a lot of. I would not dive onto those archers. I would just keep the scouts alive and keep on harassing a little bit, making Rob react. Yeah, but only I think actually. Takes attention away. If you uh, if you weren't that close to the TC, I think you can engage. Well, he needed maybe one more scout, but you... he needed more scouts. Well, archers are the better. How well if they get the time to build up numbers? I mean, there's already seven archers there. They also Engaging feel like with three, dropped. even four oh, scouts, no. is a little bit eh, dicey. After get back and now. He's putting some more on it. Because even his archer production will be a bit hard. And now the spearmans are. Yeah, it's not worth. I think when you can expect a scout, it's just. It's also something I forget easily as well. Just add a few spears. Mm -hmm. It doesn't cost a lot, so. No. I like uh, the fact that Mats is uh, adding skirmishers. That is it indeed nice. Like really a, a hard combo scout skirmishers. And now That's he's indeed. going forward. Nice. And Ooh, he knows the about, the, about them. They just, uh, 
I mean, I, I know skirms are counter units, but... Oh, okay, yeah. he was just looking for the hill. That was a good choice. I think this is a yeah. bad plan to engage here by Mats. Yes and no, I think. If he keeps adding some skirmishers at this point, maybe even another scout. I think he's quite secure. Uh, I don't Oof. know. Oh, and that... Yeah, so that was 25 wood wasted. Yeah. But still here, maybe... Yeah. Yeah, under DC. Yeah, the uh, under DC. No, no. All mm -hmm. the villagers coming. Yeah. No, but, well... With the skirmishers... It's hard to see how Rob can do damage, and he's still... Well, he's still catching up again, so... He is indeed he's catching up again. I do think more villagers consistently than match during than Mats during these matches. Mm -hmm. Agreed. I, I also... Somehow, I like the resources better for Rob. Like, Fobenus has, like, almost a thousand wood. Yeah, and he didn't put a lot of villagers on gold, but yeah, he did it. Quite long, he's yeah. not using of it, so mm -hmm. yeah. Now there's a so market I, coming. I think he will buy his way to castle. He will indeed just buy a, a bit of a uh, bit of food and then go up. Mm. Meanwhile, Rob can sustain archer production and still be on the way to. Uh, to castle very soon. Yeah. Thing is, he's adding the eagles and he needs to, I think, both to do enough damage, but also, yeah. But mm -hmm. at this point, Mats is like only having the skirmishes, so a few eagles can do a lot of damage in. Uh, yeah, even just. Eagles in general, unless you get like a mass of cavalry or long swords, they are quite tanky. Very similar castle times. Indeed, they're off by seven seconds. Mm -hmm. So what's up? Adding armor during the way. Yeah, I think this is still a very well. It's a very sort of classic game. game. So, yeah, actually, the damage dealt was less than I thought. Yes. Two and one eco kills. Mm -hmm. I like the second archery range if he commits to crossbow. Obviously, Lithuanian skirmishers are quite good. Agreed. So. That's why against Lithuanians, maybe Eagles are a better choice. I always wonder in this part of the game, are any of them still trying to like do a bit of scouting? Not really. I'm not completely sure, but I don't think so. If I just look at Pobenus, it's... No, you see the active area within one screen. Well, a big screen, but that's it. So it's just his own base, there's no scouting going on. Oh, okay, so Fobenus goes for Lithuanian Knights, and he does Elite Skirm upgrade. I think the Elite Skirm is uh, logical. He also went, he did uh, the defense upgrade as well during uh, mm -hmm. when he went to the Yeah. Yeah, given I that think this is a good combo. The archer, the crossbow, it's obviously the good choice. Mm -hmm. I think maybe. Uh, maybe I was switched out of archers when I, when there were like a few losses. Maybe I would have gone full eagle personally to change it up when there's no mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Looking at. It. But yeah, I think um, I think there's no holes anymore in this side of the of the base. Yeah, those two houses and two palisades just walled off. Ooh, I don't agree with that workshop. That's in a bit of an awkward position. Uh, oh! 
Uh, how much uh, are you willing to bet that one of these uh, onagers or whatever will be stuck behind something? Well, uh, a lot of money because there's not a single yeah. uh, mangonel coming out of that because he cancelled the building. And are again, all the oof. Gone now. Yeah, fine. Uh, trying again a siege workshop, but it's still again, within. Quite exposed. Yeah, just put it near your TC. And the Matsus King is out on the the field. Eh? God, where is he? On the farm next. Yeah, you just, right. Oh god, yeah, that's that's an exposed king. That's that's, that's in danger for us now. Why you put it in, tow in a tower at the beginning, but <laughs> <laughs> yes, just to avoid things like this. Uh... Um, okay, the the mangonel is What's gonna God pop of light? out. Ah, no, there's still there's still a, a scout and a spearman. I would have liked to go like around with a villager and try to keep the crossbowmen trapped. Yeah, like just a house here, uh, blocking their escape. That would have been funny. But yeah, I think the attack has been warded off. Uh, okay, he, so he, he saw king. the king being ejected and put him back in the town center. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I, at this stage I think it's indeed a better idea just to put him in the watchtower. Okay, husbandry. So he he will be committing to the idea of uh, of cavalry, which is not a bad plan. And he's using his monk to go pick up relics, which for the Lithuanian does give you quite significant yeah, attack well, bonus on your knights. Uh, kills, I guess. Still doable though. Mhm. Mm and then yeah, this no, these coming. twenty crossbows. Eight skirms and a mangonel near the town center. I don't see think that's gonna be an issue. In already? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, ballistics is not in yet. No university, I actually. Yeah. Also, thumb ring coming in for uh, uh, for for Benus, but for the skirms, I don't think that the, really does anything. The eco difference is getting. Bigger Getting though. Quite large. Yes. Actually, also quite a lot of. But that's. Right now. I think that's because of the second TC that uh, Rob has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I feel like Mats has been having a lot of uh, idle time with his mm -hmm. villagers after being harassed a bit. Yes. Um, I think this looks really good for Rob, but it's always having archers and uh, the mangonels could change. I, I think it would have gone a lot better for Fobanus here if he had taken the hill. I think now Rob really needs to put more on gold. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, yeah. That wasn't really great, but I think, yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. This, this, oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. That's. Yeah, this is not a good engagement. Oh, that, oh or... yeah, that's that's that army gone. Actually, pushing the gold TC is crucial now because a lot yes. of uh, Rob's gold. Uh, Ustix, is yeah, Ustix without gold, that's. Oh, that's this changed so quickly. Yep. In also, the course no of react. a couple mangonel shots, they're just mm. nice retreat and then targeting the the town center. Like shooting from yeah, it's really. And now adding the knights, well, there's yeah. not a lot of army Yeah, fighting. there is. Yeah. Rob can't push this at all. He's making a switch to Eagle Warrior, but... I think yeah. with the production that... the skirmishers, and it would have been... Yeah, but now... <laughs> I think with the production that Cobain has been with relics, his knights... So still... Has been gathering the knights, so these are 10 plus 3, and we've only had forging being researched. No. Uh, so there's two uh, relics. Anyway, so he's gathered a, a third one, so yeah. This is looking really good. Oh, a lot of villagers. The mangonels are really paying uh, for their... Yes. Uh... yes. And now... The watchtower is in sight. Yes, yes. I think so... for a watchtower, maybe you need to have like... Uh, a repair um... villager for the mangonels. 
Uh, yeah, for that, but... you, you can't take the watchtower with your mangonels, but if you get your night mass up to a decent size, then you can just dive in under the tower. I, I would yeah. also recommend a second level of armor for that, just to mitigate the damage a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, I think Ooh, just I... going. I'm Dude, not a fan yeah, of this. Nice raiding everywhere as well. Yeah. Maybe he raids with some knight in the corner and then goes for a sneak attack with the mangonel in the remaining knights. Could be doable to go for a quick uh, king pull, but I think he'll just play oh. to. Uh... Oh, but he's not yet. No. Ooh, nice one. Very good. Uh, Very nice shot. indeed. Yeah, Mats is showing some Manganel skills uh, in this game. Yep. Yep. Quite, uh, so now... Yeah, another TC under attack. Selling wood, buying no, food. No. He, he realizes he needs to go in. Protection from Rot now, there's not a lot of... I don't... Not a lot uh, of reinforcements from uh, for base. I don't, I don't like going in here for Mats. I think... I, I think... I think all of these numbers... All those... Uh, Gold and food into more knights. Yeah. Keeping the he, pressure. Got... Now he will clean up your army. Obviously, there's the imp, mm -hmm. but there is still the. Okay, there's not anymore the eco difference. No, but... and he's reduced to three knights. So he, he had a thousand woods. It's a shame for Rob that he doesn't have any. Oh, well, not a lot of armor. Uh, no, no armor upgrade and only the first attack upgrade on his. Mm -hmm. On his eagles, it is indeed eagles. a little bit because, yeah, obviously, okay, I he think goes for scale boarding. This looks really good still for Mats, but I, well, yeah, okay, elite eagle warrior coming in, uh, 10 eagle warriors, and uh, got to keep those knight numbers up. Yeah. I, I think Hobelius needs to take some villagers from woods and. Go farm a bit more. Actually, Rob is in Imperial. I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely will. Okay, maybe that's as well the reason. But still, I sort of. Okay. I'm really not paying any attention. Huh? But... We noticed. Okay, so. Okay, yeah. Scale mill coming in, arson coming in, so. The uh, 15. Elite Eagle Warriors already, so there's gonna be a huge Eagle Warrior swarm. Uh, Curious to see if that monk will survive its journey to the north. Oh. Yeah, but uh, first the fight. I think. I'm not sure. How's this going? It's under the no. TC, not too much. TC and Knights are yeah, not really. I'm doing fine, yeah. And it's then just Cavalier. Yeah, it's a clean up. Yeah, I, and I think at this point. And now there's an eco difference in the favor of Hobelius, but he's housed. Uh, it does the. He's taking the fifth, I suppose? Uh, well, uh, I need to switch. This, this will be relic number four. Four, there are only four. Oh no, there's one near the barracks. Of, okay, that one is hard to reach. Yeah, also the, the Lithuanian bonus stops at four. Yeah, so yeah. But it's still, it was still useful to go for the last one. Yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah, absolutely. the main issue for uh, uh, Rob is the gold. Now he's moving back to his he's original TC. back state. there, but... He needs to. As soon as Rubini spots this, that's... Especially with another couple of mangonels, and then with, with 12 Cavalier, 5 more in the queue now. Uh, Finally solving the housing issue a little bit. Uh, I think it's very possible that that's really quickly done. Okay. Yeah, move away from the watchtower and then you can take that fight. Yeah, and the TC's as well. But... Indeed. Oh, uh, I'm okay, going a bit forward. No, some cavalier getting cleaned up. Uh, Still, there's not enough upgrades on the eagles. I think if they are fully well, they have at least plus four armor. 
you can have good fights here, but mm -hmm. I think I I don't That's like this. Game. I think That's, he needs more yeah. numbers to take the watchtower. Okay, he's retreating. Yeah. He's getting so, more numbers. Also, I think even if you go with like a lot of cavalry, it's hard to kill the king before he gets into the DC. Uh, if you're surrounded, I think it's a possibility. But you need like, I think his queue needs to be completely empty now. Yeah, and that like, needs need a lot 20, of more. Like 30. doing 14. Uh, Cavalier in two stables. He needs. Yeah, to, that's. Uh, he needed that's to. I think at this point maybe it's not. Indeed. So you need like three extra stables. Then you've spent your wood, uh, and then you can quickly mass enough Cavalier to just take out his Watchtower or take out the TCs. Yeah, he's still doing lots and lots of villager kills. So that is really true. And also good for the series because if Matt's it makes it a bit longer. Out, it's done. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we? If Obinus is paying attention, we can see another big bada boom, but no, no, uh, no bada booms. Like, uh, there's been enough mangonal damage. Ah, unfortunately. Uh, but just... Yeah, I think this is indeed a good fight for Obinus still. Uh, splitting? Not a fan. The back okay, wood line would be nice to reach if we just move. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually dislike the splitting here. The thing is, cavaliers are hard to die. Well, they die slowly to DC fire, so they will do. Well, yeah, they're killing all the villagers at the top as well. Yeah. The eve. So yeah. yeah. I think it was a good. Yeah, it was a good decision. Yeah. And then microing these ones to run away from the pikes. Yes. Uh, and then there's still a hole here. Mm -hmm. yeah, looking for the numbers and then still attacking this uh, town center. And now lots of villager kills. Yeah, I think uh, GG is coming closer and closer. Meanwhile, does not. No, nope, it doesn't. Still on two stables. Yeah, it doesn't go to the north. Still, lots of villagers arrive for the platinum. Uh, yeah, yeah, he should have gone there. Oh, I think he's going for this gold TC. Oh no, he's. Well, I, I would run away here. There's, no. uh, there, there's quite a significant amount of pikes here. I would, uh, I would not trust it. I think the Cavaliers still quite easily win that fight, but it's not good value trade. But... I like this. In this com combination, I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice too. It's the same we had with like the Scouts and the Spearmen in the other yes. game, the other way around. It's just hard yes. to keep uh, your pikemen at the right position unless you can force a fight by being aggressive or uh, Indeed. interesting. And now for the cost of only a couple of uh, cavalier, he has free reign to start killing this town center. And now we can just run away and repeat the trick. Yes. But still not a third stable. Still not a third cavalier. stable. This could have been over, yeah. well, it's sort of over, but this could have been I mean, over quicker though. I, I'm, I'm just, can we double check? We didn't put in a rule about you can only build two stables in a game, right? No, no, no. Okay. Well, so he has the monk, I would, especially considering that some of these cavalier are almost completely dead. I would just put a monk nearby to heal them. And you get a lot more value out of them. I also, but that's just my general preference for booming, and I think Mats could have created more villagers by now. He's not been under attack for long. Obviously, there's not a lot of space to expand. There's not a lot of space, but indeed he could have gone for a higher number of villagers. He actually could have uh, gone for uh, the Hussar, I guess, because we don't play with the uh, new Sifs. But uh, the Lithuanians also got the special Hussar, Get the I guess. Winged Hussar. 
Yes. Oh. I'm a center no, coast. No, no, he's just passing. Oh. Now you can engage. Like on, on the hill. He, he wants to. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah. He wants to counter the bikes with his own. Uh, Mangonel time is back. Mangonel is back. Satisfying the nose shots. Yeah, not the greatest indeed. Oh, but now the long swords are engaging. Forward. And no. now the cavalier. Okay, and Rob calls the GG. Yeah, it was well played, I think. Well played, well played. Uh, Actually, there was. I think there were. Nicely matched as well. I think the earlier game between the two yeah. Jonas was nice, but this one was also quite close in a lot of... This was quite close indeed. I mean, the score says 3-1, but I think any of those games, aside from the insanity of the Water Nomad game, yeah, that was, that was a, a prepared strategy. <laughs> that was... Yeah, and I think this shows how much... I mean, not every map is suited to prepared, but how yeah. much preparation can actually... Quickly and matter indeed, but like I think any of the other maps, if things had gone slightly differently, it could have been the other person winning. Yeah, completely agree. Yeah. So I think this was indeed a very nice uh, series. Still think that the Yucatan game, still for me, seems to be a little bit more enjoyable. Uh, yeah, so... the only game that I haven't yet seen uh, today. <laughs> well. You will need to fix that. I will catch up. Uh, as mentioned before with Panda, I think that's a cont contender for the Dino Kuken Award. Hmm. Uh, okay. But yeah, so we have our second winner of the day. takes the victory. Yes, and actually that's quite a lot of the northern brackets already uh, decided, I think. Already played indeed. I need to play Jonas, and the winner of us will face Mats, and then it's already the road to the final. Uh, indeed, indeed. Uh, so just uh, quickly updating, so we can have the nice match overview. Uh, oh yes, and then also uh, a slight update on the betting. Uh, so yes, our estimates. Uh, I think so far both the estimates were good. I think it was 8 2 two times now? Or... Uh, uh, 10 people voted for Joe Nasty to win, and then 2 for Snelly. Uh, and then here it was 9 3 in favor of Frobenius. So, so far, no big surprises, let's say. No big surprises indeed. Uh, although, let's be honest, still, Frobenius Rob could have gone either way. Yeah, I, I think. Well, I think this was one of the games where beforehand I was doubting a bit because mm -hmm. I know Mats is quite decent, but yeah, I was I was curious. Let's say I wasn't yeah. convinced. I uh, I fully agree. Fully agree. Okay. But yeah, so now we know that before the games we need to know if special rules have been uh, applied. Yes. Uh, luckily. Quite important, let's say. Was indeed also quite important. Also a reminder to actually check those rules, because I haven't really thought about them a lot. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I got a nice uh, text document from uh, Jonasti for every game, uh, which just stated no special rules have been applied in this game. Oh. Um, mm. Unfortunately, I got no response from, uh, from oh, Rob no. when I asked him about this. Uh, so I, I didn't know beforehand. So yeah, quite clear when the, in the game, but it was yeah, even quite, quite even it wasn't sudden death. Yeah, like we, we would have realized when the TC went down and suddenly victorious must have done sudden death. I don't know. Well, it was a nice series, and I think nice uh, series uh, indeed. Now I'm looking at the comments. Uh, 
we can hear Matt smiling. Yes, uh, that, that was uh, when the sudden death, yeah, obviously. demolition ship uh, glory happened. Yeah, uh, very nice. Indeed. Okay. Okay, so uh-huh. then the final series that I will cast is uh, El Kron versus Pedirac Delta. Um, I don't know, Anton, are you up for a little bit more casting, or if there is anyone else that wants to take over? Gladly, I obviously I'm I'm planning to watch, so if necessary, I'm available. But okay, um, well, I I see there are at least four people in the spectator chat, so if anybody is willing to uh, step in for. Uh, Anton? Thunder might be a bit uh, hard to take over. Ah, and now they're all leaving the... <laughs> they're all leaving. Uh, uh, that is... Okay, fine. Oh, yeah, pu- in any case, maybe... P- Panda says I'm driving. In any t- case? Or oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, need, I need a break as well. Uh, as, uh, as Panda put it in the previous one, a bio break is very much uh, in its place. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, then we'll see uh, what it gives. If no one else shows up, uh, I'll probably do this uh, one. But then afterwards, uh, this was my only casting day. <laughs> okay, no, no problem, no problem. Uh, but then let's say uh, it's now 20 past 3 in Belgium. Uh, so let's say in like... Knight is already too tired to help casting. What? <laughs> You've just uh, been spectating. And I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, but Panda is just listening, so... No, no. Okay, uh, no. no but, but yeah, uh, let's well, say in, in like minutes? half an hour. A half an hour is okay, fine. So yeah, around four. Let's see. Got up at 3 a.m. Why? That, that just sounds... Tiresome. Okay. See you later. Bye. All right. Okay. So see you guys in half an hour. So I'll close the stream again and then we can get back with Sander versus Pedirac Delta.